It's hard to find a block. The frame, it looks pretty cool. It's not a bad frame. Sticky mount on the front number plate. It started creaking, it started squeaking, and it sounded like a hoopty. I wish that would have been more durable. I rate this bike one out of 10, one being the lowest, 10 being the highest. What's happening, y'all? It's your boy, Toon Dollars, and we back with another vlog, and we about to review this 2018 SE Bikes Beast Mode Ripper. Let's go. First thing I wanna mention is, I need you guys to pardon me on the noise pollution. It's hard to find a block that isn't having construction done. Every five or so blocks, there's some type of construction being done and it's very, very noisy in the city. So please, I'm sorry if the noise gets out of control. If you've been with me on the channel, you guys remember that I unboxed this thing brand new out of the box about a year and two months or so ago. And I did promise you guys a six month review. I'm behind, so this is a long overdue review. But I figured I wanted to give you guys a real world uh, opinion from an adult's perspective, not a biased review. I know a lot of the review videos that are out right now are done by young people, youngsters, teenagers or whatnot. And when they reviewed it, they didn't give the bike enough time to actually give their genuine thoughts. So this is about a year worth of owning the bike and telling you guys what I think. Now, I remember I told you guys that this bike was huge. Remember me talking about that? The first thing I noticed was the size. This thing is huge all the way around. This bike being huge and it feels like an oversized BMX bike. Now that is true. However, after having it for about a year or so, I'm 5'10 and a half and this bike fits beautiful. I got so used to it, it feels appropriate for my size, for my height. Not only is it appropriate for my height, but it takes the bumps like a Cadillac. It takes the bumps and all terrain with ease. That probably has a lot to do with these gigantic wheels. The wheels are the main notable thing that stands out and catches attention. The Beast Mode wheels, they look really good. They feel good when you ride on them. I love them. One thing I wanna make note of is, you guys see in between this T and in between that M right there, there's like a blemish. That blemish was there straight out of the box, brand new. I didn't make any mention of it during the unboxing because that's not what I was doing the unboxing for. I didn't want to bash the bike there, but I do want to talk about it now. That was a factory defect straight out of the box. It's kind of sad considering the price of the bike. The bike retails roughly at about 900 US dollars. So yeah, guys, I know. It's kind of like an arm and a leg and an ear. Next thing I want to talk about is the frame. The frame, it looks pretty cool. It's not a bad frame. It took a little bit for this style of framing to grow on me. In the beginning, I didn't really like like the rectangular shape of it. You know, I was expecting like an oval shaped bike, but the rectangular shape kind of grew on to me. I do want to talk about the paint. The paint job is kind of horrible. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to use the terminology that most painters and auto body specialists know. It has like an orange peel to it, meaning that the paint isn't showroom clean and considering how much the bike costs you would expect like a showroom clean paint job i don't know if this phone is doing justice so you guys can see the quality but yeah i don't know how the quality control was taken care of i know that this bike is manufactured uh oh a train guys give me a second i know this bike is manufactured overseas in china so that probably has an issue to do with quality control up oh, another train guys wow yeah the quality control eh, i mean i guess it could be better i don't know if i got the one defective out of a bunch of bikes like this was the needle on the haystack or if every beast mode came with this type of paint job since we're on the subject of the paint job if you take a look at this brake line right here which was installed by the factory might i add if you take a real good look you'll see that the brake line actually smudges off the paint and this bike has spent most of its life within the last year or so, year and two months, um, it spent most of its life hanging on a wall. You guys remember from my vlogs, I barely rode it. And that's sad to see that it automatically scuffs off the paint. And that's a factory installed part. And then I installed this little fanny pack, this little trunk department carrying bag. And the same thing under the carrying bag. If you look under the carrying bag right here, you'll see that the carrying bag just smeared off the paint. That's kind of sad, considering the price of the bike. Other than that, I mean, the frame is pretty neat. It's kind of like a giant BMX bike. If you guys want to talk about the welds, I went to welding in high school. I wasn't the best welder. However, I did take some welding classes, and this seems to be a proper bead. Looks pretty neat. The stickers, I think the stickers are pretty cool. I left it all original because I do not want to molest this bike. I believe in keeping the bikes original. I don't want to add no custom parts or anything to it. The only thing that I added to it was the carrying bag, a sports camera suction cup, and also added an action camera sticky mount on the front number plate. The stickers, 
I think the stickers are pretty cool. The only thing that I don't like about the stickers is not only the font, I think this font is kind of corny, but I think the fact that it says like beast mode gear, I don't know some SE bikes say landing gear. I think that's whack. I think like it's really cheesy. I don't know if they could create a new terminology or just put a design there maybe. I don't know why it has to say something, but to each his own. The front sticker looks pretty cool. Looks pretty nice. I like the gold to it. The gold feature makes it look classic, makes it look classy. Uh, most of the parts seem to be of good quality. The pedals, the pedals uh, withstand falls. I fell probably six, six or so, maybe seven times on this bike. If you guys remember on the 30 day challenge vlog where I showed you guys me learning how to wheelie every day for 30 days straight yeah now your boy tune could wheelie let's also make note that this is the bike that tune learned how to wheelie on i'm 30 years old and i never knew how to wheelie a bike i tried you know a few times before and could never keep a bike up this is the bike that took my what we want to call it wheelie genity <laughs> wheelie genity i don't know but this is the very first bike that i learned how to wheelie on and now i'm successful now i can wheelie on command uh the pegs the pegs are pretty cool the pegs save the frame from getting damaged you guys see how the frame sticks out right here my frame is in good condition because these pegs if you look at the pegs up close you see how the pegs got some scratches that's why they got scratches and i'm happy that it came with pegs because if not when i fell i would have had scratches and all that along here the se pegs too just to show you that the braking system is pretty good. I like the brakes. The brakes are pretty strong. They stop on a dime. They stop on command. Unless it's raining. You guys remember that like I fell in the rain before on these. Again, on the vlog. You got to go check out them vlogs to see when I fell. I was coming from a Rosati ride out and I bust my butt willing in the rain. I know some of the young guys, as soon as they get the bike within a month or two of getting the bike, they tend to change the braking system to hydraulic brakes. I'm not really interested in changing them. I guess to each his own. The hubs, I like the way the hubs are gold. That looks pretty neat. I left the gold bullet factory valve covers, the valve stem covers. Yeah, I left those. That's all original. The three piece crank, the three piece crank. Uh, I mean, it looks cool, but I think it's kind of disappointing. Let's point this out right now. You see, you see how we got the star and everything. The star looks neat. I mean, it helps the bike catch up speed quickly, right? But within the first month, before I even learned how to wheelie on the bike, I just did general riding just to get the feel of the bike. It started creaking, it started squeaking, and it sounded like a hoopty, yo. It really sounded like a hoopty. I was disappointed. I'm like, damn, you spent all this money for this bike, and in a month or so, the crank starts to squeal or, or creak. Now, right now at the moment, especially after I learned how to wheelie, within an hour or two of heavy riding, it starts to creak. It starts to make like a, yeah, it starts to make a creaking noise. So that that's kind of a bummer considering the price point. Uh, the one sticker that I did mention that I don't like is this bout the action sticker. There's a sticker under here that says bout that action. I think that's whack. Since we're up here, let's talk about the pads. I love the pads. I think the pads are awesome. That's one of my favorite things about this bike. It gives it that old school vintage throwback look like the 80s mongoose red line style like that's pretty cool i really like all three pads i haven't taken them off and i like the front number plate i think that's dope like the front number plate looks really cool i know some of the kids take it off i left mine on i, I like that that's just my own opinion one thing i do want to show you guys is you guys see up close you see how the neck pad is kind of like the print is kind of getting fuzzy coming off you see it I wish that would have been more durable. The grips are pretty cool. Uh-oh, we got another chain going. Oh man, chain, 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 chain. The grips are pretty cool. Yeah, I think those look neat. They're simple, plain, sleek, straight to the point. They do what they should do, grip. <laughs> um, they show a little bit of wear. Nothing major though, that's probably from falling, but that's expected with use. These O-ring donuts, they're pretty cool. I guess they help you so you don't get like calluses like right here you're gonna get calluses but i wear gloves so that prevents the callus situation the handlebars they're nice big and wide i like that part but i don't like that they're chrome i think chrome is kind of cheesy again that's based on personal preference it's kind of whack to me i know they sell black ones but i'm not planning on buying black ones because i don't want to change anything from its stock form so it is what it is chrome is gonna have to do it has Tectro Eclipse, uh, I guess a brake lever. And that's pretty cool. I mean, it suffices. Again, I know the youngsters changed the brake lever with that whole hydraulic system. I'm cool with dumb Johns. It only has rear brakes. It doesn't have front brakes. And I guess for the purpose of William, that's cool and all of that. But for the price, they might as well have given you a, a front brake so you can decide if you want to use it or not. <laughs> the seat, 
The seat is pretty comfy. I ride with it and it feels pretty good. It has some nice cushion to it. It's pretty durable. Uh, out of all the times that I fell, it has like, you know, one little scuff right there. You see the scuff? One little scuff, nothing major. I didn't fall on the rear end. Like there's no way to possibly fall on the rear end with how big this tire is. So I want to show you guys that there's some, some paint smudging or paint uh, blemishes right there in the lettering. That's sad, you know, considering that it hasn't really been used much and it hasn't fell on that. So I would expect those to still be nice and gold. Maybe a quality control issue or I don't know, but I'm planning on leaving this bike hung up in the future, you know, as a collector's item. And it's sad that that shows usage. Other than that, guys, let me see, what did I miss? I left the bicycle for off-road use only. Like, why would they sell all these bikes to kids at that price point and then expect them to use it off-road? I don't know. Beats me. I left that on it though because I wanted to stay original. Um, what else? What else? I think I covered pretty much everything. As far as the weight, the bike does weigh some. <laughs> it has a good weight to it. I don't know the weight off the top of the head, but I gave it to my little bro so he could bust some wheelies on it and he clocked it without a problem. He never rode it at all. And the first time he got on it, he wheelied it about a block really easily. But the one thing he did say was, bro, that bike's heavy. Like that bike got some weight. So yeah, I guess it does have some weight, but for me, I got used to it because it's the very first bike that I learned how to wheelie on, so I can't complain. The wheels are pure dopeness. I mean, that's the main thing that stands out is the wheels. Like, that's pretty neat, right? Like, train time. <laughs> Look at this, a train. Yo, I swear, I tried to record this vlog about four different times, and every time I recorded, it was some type of noise. So like, I'm at the point where I give up. I give up, I give up, I give up. I'm not going to re-record this again. Y'all just going to have to deal with the sound. <laughs> sound ordinance law. I guess that's why people move to the suburbs, right? For the silence, peace, and seclusion. Uh, let's see, let's see, guys. This sticker right here with the little, what is it, a B? Like a B logo for beast mode? Oh, again, look it. Look at the paint quality right there. I guess this bag from rubbing back and forth has made the paint like scuffed. It, it, it has like, like circles, like scratches. I don't know, that, that sucks, guys. Like, I, I would've wished it had a showroom paint job that was gonna last. But I guess beggars can be choosers, right? Or customers can be choosy, or should they? Should they be choosy? What What you guys think? You guys think the paint job should have been better? Uh, looks, I rate this bike one out of 10, one being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Looks, I rate this bike like a nine. And I only rate it like a nine. I would have gave it a 10 if those little cosmetic things that I ain't like, like that sticker in the front and like that, that little blemish that they gave me right there, straight out of the box, you know? But I gave it a nine for looks. As far as ride quality, one out of 10, again, I give it probably like, like, like a nine. The only reason why I'm giving it a nine would be because of that crank. Like within a month, that crank shouldn't have started creaking. Within a year, that crank shouldn't have started creaking. And I didn't learn how to wheelie on the bike till like six months later. So it's not because of my wheelie because it was creaking before I was wheeling on it. Uh, the price point, I give it like a six or like a five out of 10 because I think it's overpriced. And considering that most of their customers are children who are spending their mom and dad's money. That's ridiculous. 900 bucks for a bike is incredible. I know when we were kids, you know, expensive bikes were like three, four, five hundred. I know they did have seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollar bikes, but average kids could come up with like two, three, maybe four, five hundred dollars for a bike. After 500, it was like, dude, you got to get a job and get it yourself. To have average kids spending seven, eight, nine hundred bucks on a bike is bonkers. So I give it a five, six for that. I think these, you know, should be a little bit more affordable, but then again, I don't know how much it costs for shipping and all of that since it's coming from overseas. But the bike's dope, y'all. Would I recommend it? Yes, I definitely recommend this bike. If you don't know how to wheelie, should you get it? Hey, why not? Train alert! Yo, we should make it like train time. Remember Blue's Clues? Blue's Clues was like, mail time. Yeah, man. The bike's dope, guys. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Do you have a beast mode? What do you like about the beast mode? What do you hate about the beast mode? Do you want to send me another bike to unbox to get my personal opinion? <laughs> Why not? I'll unbox it for you. I'll tell y'all what the craziest part is. I say this vlog for a whole nother day so we can have clean, clear audio. And it happened to be twice as noisy. <laughs>